Closed captioning for the Casey Malone Show is sponsored by Hunter Stevens Land Title Agency. Integrity, service, and commitment you can trust. Oh, yeah. Casey Malone is serving up local. It's time for the stories of our region, the tastes, the sights, the sounds, and the people in and around the valley. Get ready for some local flavor on the Casey Malone Show. Today we visit Birdfish Brewery in Columbiana, and I make a fabulous sausage risotto. But first, Mafia Ties, an Amazon series made right here in Youngstown. Well, right now we're at the Chrisman Room inside Stamble Auditorium where John Wilson does production as his day job. And you may have heard of Mafia Ties, which is a series that is about to appear on Amazon Prime. And John is the author of this series and also appears in it. Now, you say it started out as a movie. Yes. But it was bogged down with so many twists and turns that would have been epic. Yes. It would have been gone with the wind. Uh, yes, <laughs> seriously. Um, young, Youngstown, we have so many stories and everything is so deep here. Um, I think that the roots of Youngstown has been waiting to blossom for so long. You know, so I had to go inside the garden of Youngstown and dig everything up and you know make sure everything was correct and what really happened actually is when my partner James when we first started he said yo we need to have our business really locked down this is really serious when you come into this business and I was like okay well I'm about my business so I did a lot of research yes so I did a lot of research and I did like a lot of seminars and just went through seeing how what the distribution was like yes and then I found a really good distributor that I want to work with and um we sat and we talked. I went to a few seminars with them and I liked where he was going. And then he said, hey, let's make a deal. And I went along with it, so here we are. James Wheatman is the director of photography, the man behind the camera. And working with John here at Stambaugh, you're just talking and he says, man, I've got this script. Yeah. And I did mean, he just let you read it and you were blown away? Or? Absolutely, yeah. It, it, was, it was one of those, you know, one of those moments of fate where I was just offhand talking about what it is I do outside of Stanbaugh and he heard, overheard and we started talking and he said, hey, like, I got this script and like, I wanted to do something with it. Like, do you think you'd be interested? And one thing led to another and it avalanched at this point and here we are. How is Youngstown? as a character in this series because really it's, that's I mean it's a big it's part it's just of it. that it's a character honestly it has its own personality it has sights and sounds that you don't get anywhere else I mean you 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 find things in Youngstown people in Youngstown the people by far are the number one thing that makes Youngstown Youngstown you know you've done other yes films oh yeah, yeah so this is the first one that is going to be out there on the market but yeah this is the biggest thing the biggest commercial film production I have ever I've, I mean, I've done advertising and marketing work before, but this is definitely a first creative project that, that is really to this And it, it is Amazon Prime. I mean, Amazon isn't Prime. that just I mean, amazing? Oh, absolutely. Blown away. I'm, I'm, I just couldn't, couldn't believe when, when me and John were talking that that's what we decided to do. It's a great platform for independent filmmakers. I mean, it's, just, it's absolutely the springboard for a lot of good things. Well, one of the crime families in Mafia Ties is the Vercelli family. This is Tony, Marie the child, and Marie the mom. And have you done much acting? I've been doing it about two years, off and on, yeah. And how did you get this gig? I just saw it on a Facebook group post. <laughs> so you showed up for the audition? Well, it, I submitted a headshot. Mobster's daughter. How is that? Do you have to do any of this? criminal activity in your character? No, I don't. Jennifer Jackson plays Big Mother Marie, wife <laughs> here of Tony. And how much acting do you have? Um, I've been acting full time for about a year now. And how is this gig? I mean, can you guys believe you're gonna be on Amazon Prime? Uh, no, I can't believe it. I'm still in awe. Um, everything's been happening so fast, but I'm super excited. And um, to play this character, it's been, it's different. It's different from the other things that I've been doing. So I'm excited. I'm excited about how my character develops. Other members of the Vercelli family are Rosalia and Uncle Vincent. And Rosalia is Nicole Leonard. And you have a very nice presence. 
thank you. You play the sister of uh, the Richelli brothers. Yes, I do. Don't let my presence fool you, because I'm pretty mean. Tough are you? As nails in the are series. you tough yeah. in that series? I am. Are you enjoying the heck out of this I role? I am loving it. You definitely have. You know, you are a perfect character actor Thanks. for Mobster, and you said you've had many um, parts. Yes, I. Uh, <clears throat> I did uh, <laughs> Sopranos. I did um, Mob Movie with uh, Eric Roberts. Uh, I did the Youngstown Pittsburgh Mob movie, and I used to work for the mob. Yes, oh, okay, that's great. So you have a real right. experience. You play Little John. Yep. Who is John, so when they do flashbacks. I'm the main character there. You are the main character. And yep. what kind of acting chops do you have here? Um. <laughs> have you done a lot of acting? Not too much, no. I've been in little plays here and there. Not something like this, though. Now, you have a very big, pivotal role in this. You are one of the top yes. dogs, huh? Well, I don't know about top, top dogs, but I've earned what they call the code of honor um, and have been grafted into the family. I've been with the family for about 25 years. And you run a pretty big enterprise. Yes, I'm a numbers runner for them. Okay. Have you ever played this kind of character before? Not this kind of character. Um, I'm basically a singer, actor. I'm more stage. Mm -hmm. uh, I've done some films, some TV, and I'm usually an, uh, very nice, and I still am. <laughs> and when is our drop date? What, oh, when are we going to have the big premiere? Um, we really wanted to uh, have it in the end of August, but you know we've been so swamped, and we're still mm -hmm. promoting. We're still doing so many. We didn't expect this project to explode the way it did with the community, um, a lot of business and people and sponsors, it just blew up magically and right in front of our face. So we're behind schedule just a little bit, but we'll be on in September. Like we said, August, okay. September, we told everybody we'll be there. If we really wanted to show people we were really serious and we really wanted to help Youngstown and be a driving force with you know, bringing back the community. So we wanted to let these first three episodes resonate on everybody and so that we're here. We're actually here and we're actually doing big Hollywood things for our community and Are you going to go Hollywood? You're going to stay here? Um, Where are you going? You I don't think we're going to go Hollywood. LA, John, no, you know, you no, no. I, I think we really want to turn this coast. I think we have the power um, with this project to turn this coast into a miniature Youngstown Hollywood and start having Hollywood actually look over here at us and wonder what's going on on this coast. So that's our objective. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. Summer means magic tree. Look at this patio. This is one of my favorite places to be on a summer night. Casey, we have all the things going on here at the magic tree on our beautiful patio. We have the Saturday summer music series not to mention all the other goodies like our seasonal menu. Absolutely. Oh, That's our can of chips, our cedar plank salmon, and this is our Casey and the Sunshine Salad. How do you like that? And <laughs> then our gosh, seasonal drinks. That's wow. our mermaid water, and it ain't no water, by the way. Oh. And this is our fresh blueberry mule. Oh, that is beautiful. And I'm telling you, what is your slogan? Come to the magic tree to eat, drink, and celebrate. And I say repeat. Summertime is here, the living is easy. Get to the magic tree. Cheers. Cheers. Five Buck Burger Mondays at Sadie's Place, inside the Best Western, Route 46, Austin Town. Mayflower Wilm is your full service independent insurance agency. We work with several insurance companies to offer you choices for your insurance needs. We'll find the right product at the right price. Personal, business, farm, life, trust Mayflower Wilm. You focus on what's important, we'll take care of the details. Mayflower Wilm, close by with three locations to serve you. Here at the upstairs, we cater to everyone. When you come through the door, I treat you as though you're my friend. So there's all kinds of options here at the upstairs. There's something on that menu for everyone. Great food, friendly service, very clean restaurant. There's a lot of restaurants, a lot of good restaurants in our community. 
So I always feel honored when someone comes here. I want everybody coming through that door to leave here with a good experience. Ruli Brothers is way ahead of the competition. Check out Ruli Spice World, where you can buy bulk herbs and spices, plus candies, nuts, and fillings for pennies on the dollar. Shop Ruli Brothers, home of the famous Evening Express. I am blessed with a wonderful husband. He stuck with me through thick and thin, and he's a fantastic father. So when he needed long-term care, not just any place would do, we did our research. Everyone said, trust the name you know. Briarfield. With all those locations, there's always one close. That made it easy for me and the kids to visit more often Briarfield. Trust the name you know, Briarfield, proudly serving the valley for over 20 years. Today I'm going to make for you sausage risotto. It doesn't have a lot of ingredients. It's pretty easy to make, but you know risotto. The tedious part is stirring and making sure the liquid is absorbed until you add the next batch of liquid. And I think I have a little shortcut that might speed that along just a little bit, but uh, risotto is so, so versatile. Do not be intimidated, because I was very intimidated, but my husband gave me this recipe. We tweaked it a little bit, and I really think you're going to enjoy it. Now, I'm going to make it with a hot sausage, and if you uh, don't like the hot spicy, you can also use just a sweet fennel sausage, too. But few ingredients, and boy, does this pack a wallop. You are going to love my sausage risotto. For this recipe, you'll need one to one and a half pounds of hot or sweet bulk sausage, six cups of chicken stock, two tablespoons of unsalted butter, one and a half cups of arborio rice, one large onion diced, one half cup of dry white wine, one half cup of grated Parmesan cheese, the juice from one lemon, and one half cup of chopped fresh parsley for garnish. Now with most of my rice dishes, I usually rinse the rice prior to using because you want to get the starch off of the grain. But with the arborio rice, you want that starch because that is what the thickening agent is that gets the risotto nice and creamy. But it also takes a lot more time to get that starch up and that's why you have to add the warm liquid. So to keep the starch, but yet decrease a little bit on the cooking time, I find that if I take the arborio rice, okay, so I put it in a strainer, and then I just run the chicken stock through it. So I'm still keeping the starch, but I've also, I believe, uh, made the rice just a little easier to cook and help absorb the liquid faster. All right, so over medium-high heat in this large skillet, I am breaking up the sausage and getting it nice and browned. Meanwhile, on another burner, I am warming the chicken broth, the stock, and I'll bring that to a low simmer because it does have to be warm when I add it to the rice. So I removed the sausage and put it aside. Now I've got the two tablespoons of butter, again over medium heat, and I didn't even bother to rinse out the pan. Wanted to try to use whatever uh, fat was left, but boy, that was pretty lean sausage. So now I will melt down the butter, and I am going to add the large onion that's been chopped up and I'm just going to cook this and coat this until the onions are softened. It'll be about five or seven minutes. Well, the onion looks great. It is softened, a little browned, and now we are going to add that rice. Remember I rinsed it? Well, now we're going to add that to the onion, and we're gonna make sure it's thoroughly coated with the butter 
and the onion. And we are gonna cook this for about five minutes. So now we start the tedious part, adding the liquids. This is where we stir and stir and stir and stir. We're going to start with our half a cup of white wine. And we just stir this thoroughly until all of that water, or wine, turning water into wine, <laughs> has been absorbed. So now, you see we've got our stock warming right here. And I am just going to do this ladle by ladle, okay? So one ladle at a time, it must be warm. Well, I'm gonna tell you my little tip about running the stock through the rice. I think it cut off almost 10 minutes of cooking and liquid absorption time. So do try that trick at home. And now look at that. All six cups have been absorbed. It's beautiful, it's creamy. I've turned off the heat. Now we will add the cheese and I will stir this through and mix it in thoroughly the cheese and you can see it's melting nicely. I'm using a great Parmesan. I'm now going to add the sausage back in. Yay! And we'll stir this in and mix that thoroughly. Oh my gosh, this is such a great dish. All right, now Jelaine uh, joins me in the kitchen. After all the stirring and the liquid absorption is over with, Here's our final step. Take the juice from a lemon and you just squeeze it over the risotto mixture with a little bit of parsley. And if you want more cheese, you can pass it at the table. Let me know what you think. Mm. This is Isn't so this good. amazing? Mm. It is. I mean, it is. It's a restaurant quality dish. Uh, you could drink a nice red wine with that because of the sausage, but I think the white wine is nice. It cuts through a lot of the seasonings. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Nostrovia. cheers. Nostrovia. Ooh, it's delicious. Oh, it is. It just, <laughs> I'm telling you, it's like oh. we're, we're on the Riviera, man. I, and I love Rosetta. Well, oh. I will make this for you again. Oh. And again, and <laughs> again. <laughs> Go to my website. CaseyMaloneShow.com, get my sausage risotto recipe, and you can thank me later, because you are going to love it. You Cheers. Will. Cheers. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Bernard. I've been giving the people of our valley free advice for 30 years, and my message has never changed. If you're involved in an automobile accident, don't try to handle it yourself. Call a lawyer. A lawyer will be your representative, dealing with doctors, medical insurance, and all the red tape that you may encounter. Hiring a lawyer doesn't mean you'll end up in court. And remember, there are no upfront fees on personal injury cases. That's good advice. Need a lawyer? Learn more at ElizabethBernardLaw.com. To own a business where your name's on the window can be pretty cool. That's my family. My name is Danny Catullo, and I'm the owner of Catullo Prime Meats. My grandfather started the business in 1962. I was able to take our old style butcher shop and bring it out to the new age using e-commerce to get our products to more customers. When we started shipping, there was not a ton of information out there. That's where we really worked with FedEx so they could be able to help us with our perishable shipping. We were taking on new purchases that we never had to make before. Boxes, coolers, ice packs, anything that was involved around shipping. So we can no longer do this with the cash that we had on hand. So because of the plum card from American Express and all of its benefits, it was a natural fit to help grow our business. When someone calls and lets you know that you made their dinner, 
That's satisfaction that you can't get anywhere else. Open the Jewel Box, the Courthouse Inn, organic vegetarian comfort food, handcrafted cocktails, fine wine and beer, fresh baked cakes and pies. Recharge your senses at the Courthouse Spa. Dazzling dining, artfully prepared, locally sourced ingredients, spa services. The Courthouse Inn feels like a world away, just down the road in historic Lisbon, Ohio. It's time to get real about getting engaged. Real experts you can count on. Real pricing and financing for your budget. And really one of a kind engagement rings. That are unique as she is. Get real, get Kamara. Get real, get Kamara. In the Cool Creek Plaza in Canfield. Four for five till six. Happy hour at Sadie's Place inside the Best Western, Route 46, Austin Town. At Rooley Brothers, the family is in the store. Meats, deli, produce, even the checkout. We work hard to ensure that you get the best products at a personal shopping experience. At Rooley Brothers Markets, our customers are our top priority. Our family is in the store. Right here on Main Street in downtown Columbiana, you are gonna find Birdfish Brewery. We've assembled most of the crew. Jared one, Jared two, and Greg. Josh could not be with us this evening. And uh, I'm telling you, everyone is raving about the beer that you guys are making here. I mean, everybody loves it. And it's right. only available right, right here, here, unless you bring home, what, a growler. Yeah. Tell me, how did this all start? You know, your passion for craft beer. Yeah, so it was about seven years ago, Jared's Garage. We uh, actually started in the kitchen on the stove, bought a beer kit, did that a couple times and with extract and then got away from that, started doing all grain batches and just started buying equipment over the months and years and got to a point to similar setup of what we have here on the commercial stage, but... Um, in, in your garage? Yeah, 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 doing 12 and a half gallon batches. And uh, throw out hosting like home day, home brew parties and people coming out and barbecuing and brewing and then you know drinking the last brew days beers and uh, too many people are like you guys got to do something with this <laughs> you know especially Jared too. So, <laughs> Jared, you yeah. I heard you have a very fine yeah. palate for craft yeah, beers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so if he says thumbs right, down, right. We, we toss it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, really, I mean, that was a lot of just years of research and development for us because we saved every recipe that we ever did. And so. What about you? Uh, what was your, you know, aha moment with craft beer? Uh, it was a similar story. Josh brought Sharon about this it down. Josh, I think we were, he's I think we were at the man. same party. So I think he's he, like, really Yeah, I guys. think he, it, it really, when he was down in Columbus, so that scene yeah. down there is how he got into it. And then he's like, you guys got to, you know, get into this. First hits free. Yeah, right. <laughs> After yeah. that, it's, it's all on you guys. Yeah. Yeah. What about you? What, what do you enjoy? Are um, you also an IPA? I'm more into sours now. This um, is great. Now, what is this called? The peel. So that's a that's a Berliner Weiss, actually. Oh, that's, okay. Um, we call that one a Blitz Weiss. This is the first time we brewed it, actually. Mm. But me yeah. like it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're really like tart, just kind of sour. Um, they're really refreshing in the summertime, which I, I really now, like. Now, do you find like, so seasonally, Seasonals. You, right. you won't make this in the winter? We might. Will you? But like it's really small quantities, yeah. just here and there. And there's a lot, like, I'll make a lot more of that in the summertime. Wintertime, we do stronger beers, stouts, just heavier body beers. Something that, you know, just kind of keeps you warm. And these beers, the sours, the IPAs, the wheats, those are all summers, just something to easy drinking, clean your palate. Are those grains easier to get in the summer? Do you see that there's like the seasonal offerings that when you, where you go to buy the ingredients? Not necessarily the no. grains, it's the hops are more of a challenge to get and specific hops. I mean, there's thousands of varieties of hops out there. Summer, do you grow your own? We do. We do 
Uh, we're you partnered, use them? We're partnered with uh, <laughs> Knucklehead Hop Farm out of Letonia. Tell me about the name uh, and the logo, where it came from. Yeah, so as we were home brewers, we actually had the name Birdfish Brewing Company <laughs> as home brewers. And uh, so being kind of central to Pittsburgh and then, you know, with Youngstown State, the penguin is kind of... A birdfish. Yeah, where the our kind of mascot logo kind of came from, part of our logo. Mm -hmm. And you think of a penguin, it's kind of like a bird, kind of like a fish. So it was probably a drunken night. That's <laughs> when it came up. But it so, sounded but really yeah. new. I think it makes right. sense. Yeah. Yeah. So Josh, he, uh, you know, worked with the logo and, you know, our main logo has got three penguins for the three owners. Mm -hmm. And then the uh, iceberg is a representation of where we're from, Ohio. So, so who is going to uh, be the eloquent one and, and toast? Oh. Birdfish. So He's the eloquent. eloquent guy. Oh, okay. You're elegant <laughs> and eloquent. Oh, all right. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Greg. Yeah. So here's to uh, Birdfish Brewing Company for the first year and a half of business to many more years getting through this expansion project. So hopefully by the end of this year and rolling into 2018 to many more brews and many more enjoyable beers for everybody in the valley to taste, so. Slime job, aye aye. The Casey Malone Show is sponsored in part by Denise and John York and the DeBartlow Corporation.